All right, everyone, so now that we have looked through our owl pellets, um, if you choose to keep the bones, talk with your parents or guardian. Um, ask them first for permission to keep it. If you want to, if you don't want it, because, I mean, a lot of people don't want dead animal bones. But if you find them interesting and you want to keep them, talk to your parents or guardian and you can keep them if you want to. Um, but I do want you to throw away your plate, the used tweezers, toothpicks, and your gloves. And I want you to wash your hands real thoroughly. Make sure you got clean hands and make sure you disinfect and clean the area that you're at. Because, I mean, you're not going to get sick from anything, like, if you just touch it. But if you were to get in your eyes, nose, mouth, that's not going to taste good. That's not good for you. So please, please, please clean up where you were at. Um, so wash your magnifying glass uh, thoroughly because we will be using that um, for a next class. Um, Alright, so let's learn about a little bit about like the science behind owl pellets. So owls hunt and eat in the evening and typically regurgitate, um, which if you remember, regurgitate is another word for like throwing up. Uh, so they regurgitate, regurgitate a pellet every 20 hours. Unlike other predators, they swallow their whole prey, their, their, their prey whole. Um, owls have relatively weak stomach acids, so they digest only the muscle, muscle, muscle tissue or meat of their prey, and they leave the fur and bones intact. This form of digestion makes it easy for scientists to study the owl, what owls eat, like we just did. We got to look through that, pick it apart, and see everything that was in it. Um, so, you're going to need your cup for another class, so everything that you found in your general supply kit, please put it back. If it's dirty, wash it first put it back. You're going to need those for further activities. Um, if there's anything in here that you want to keep, if you want to keep your pine cone or anything else, you know, you can do that. That's up to you if you want to keep it, but you can. Um, if you have any questions, write in the comments. I would be happy to answer any questions that you may have. And also just comment your name or comment a picture of you doing the activity of what's in your owl pellet or your seeds because I would love to see that um, don't forget subscribe so that you'll be updated every time we have a new video out and I look forward to seeing you in the next class